Hello, everyone. Welcome to this requester team training webinar. My name is Peter, and I'm a technical support associate here at Upkeep. Today, we're going to dive into the ins and outs of this product for a requester user on the mobile application for iOS. So for our agenda today, we'll go over what the role of a requester is and cover how to navigate the iOS application as this user. Then we'll learn how to create work order requests and how to view the status on them. And finally, at the end, I'll provide some support resources to provide additional guidance. Let's first talk about the role overview. So to start off, what is a requester? Well, these users, their simple function is to just submit work order requests and check the status on them. So these are free users that do not require a paid user license, such as an admin or another technical user. And an example of this could be, let's say you're a tenant in an office building and you wanna use this app as a requester to report any maintenance issues for your floor or office. So now that we know what the role of a requester is, let's go over how to navigate the app as this user. First thing you have to know is when you get set up as a requester, your team admin sends you an email invite. And on the left-hand side, this is what that email looks like. In the body message, you'll see there's a link at the very bottom, this long link. If you click into that, then it'll take you to a page where you just set up your name and your password. And once that's set, you can log in and start using Upkeep with your email as your username and with your newly created password. Okay, so let's go over some general overview of navigating Upkeep on the mobile app. On the top, left-hand corner, those three lines you see there. If I click into that, you can see there's two tabs, one for requests and one for settings. So settings, this is where I can just go click edit profile. This is where I can edit information such as my name, phone number. I can also do things like disable or enable push notifications by using these toggle buttons. I can enable push notifications. I can also change the password here. And then uh, you don't have to worry about the part where it says premium user for requesters. And then anytime I wanna save, I just click on that on the top right hand side. And then if I go back to my request page where you see that small box with three lines with circles in them, that's where you can go ahead and filter your work order request by check marking them. And then if I click that uh, left arrow button, then I can just hit apply to have those filters go into effect. And then lastly, if you need help with any part of this, if you just click to settings to where it says contact us, you can start a conversation with one of our technical support experts, and then we can provide some additional guidance that you need help with. All right, so let's go talk about the main function of this, which is to submit work order requests, and then also show you how to view your previously submitted requests as well. All right, so going back into the app, let's go click the three vertical lines, I'm sorry, horizontal lines, click on requests. So if you ever wanna add a new work order request, you just click here where it says plus in that blue circle, and once you do that, you can fill out the necessary fields here. Uh, title, let's just put, let's see, broken equipment. And then things like priority level could be how urgent it is. So if it's a high urgent case, then we can just mark that as high. If not, you can do low. I'll just put medium for now. You can do things like add an image or a file. Now keep in mind when you're adding images or files, the size limit to these are 10 megabytes. I can do things like add a location by choosing one from the drop down. I'll just choose this one right here, 123 North Maple Street. And I can do other things by signing a due date. I can also assign things like a category or a team. Now, certain fields you won't 
be required to fill out. It depends on how your team admin sets this up, but anything that has this little asterisk, like you see next to location, that means it's a required field and you can't submit it until those fields are completely filled out. So let's just go ahead and submit this on the top right hand side. It's gonna click that red submit button. And right here where it says requested, these are now your submitted work order requests that are pending for approval. So that means that your team admin would need to go review that and they can either approve it into a work order or it would be, or they can decline it as well. All right, so let's cover how to check the status of your submitted work order requests. Now let's click into this small box on the top right hand side, the horizontal lines with the circles inside. Let's click on status pending approval. Let's say I wanna check all the ones that I previously submitted for all statuses. I'll check all those, click that back arrow button and click this red banner at the bottom that says apply. Once I do that, it'll show all those previously submitted requests. All right, so let me explain how, what these different statuses mean. Right here for broken faucet handle, Open means that the work order request has been approved by your admin, but work hasn't been done on it yet. So it still needs to have work done on it. On hold means that work you know, was done, but it's temporarily on hold because something may have come up. For instance, like a maintenance technician had to go to the store to get the proper parts to fix the leaky sink drain pipe. In progress means that work is being done on it, like here for sprinkler issues. And then finally, where it says complete at the top, AC repair, that means that the work is done and everything's fixed and completed. All right, so let's go into the one that we just requested, the broken equipment. If I ever wanna make comments into these, I would just go to where it says updates. That section, I can add a picture. I can just ask, hey, what's the turn around time on this? And once I send that message, then my team admin will receive that, will respond back to that. Okay, well, that wraps up how to use the uh, mobile app for a request user, how to submit work order requests. Here are some support resources we have to offer. Um, definitely, even with this webinar, there's bound to be some questions along the way. So feel free to just reach out to us or you know, look towards to our help center or webinars to provide any additional guidance. Um, other than that, that wraps up this webinar. So I hope this was helpful and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.